In many cases, the number one solution with a misbehaving puppy is to exercise your puppy more often. When your dog has too much energy and you're not providing them with a way to get rid of this energy, they will find a way to do so themselves. In many cases, you won't like the way they do this. That's also why puppies tend to get these energy spikes in the evening called the zoomies. It's just a way for them to get rid of this energy. Now, how long should you exercise your puppy? The advice that's often given when walking a puppy is you should walk them for five minutes for every month of age or one minute for every week of age, which comes down to pretty much the same. You can, of course, walk your puppy multiple times a day. For training sessions or play sessions, use about the same metrics. Play with your puppy for a few minutes and then give them some time to process everything they learned or to sleep. Using multiple play sessions or training sessions spread out throughout the day will provide you and your puppy with more benefits than one session of one hour long in the evening. The muscles and joints of puppies are still fully developing, so that's why it's not advised to use training sessions or, or workouts that are too long for your puppy. How to exercise your puppy? There are lots of ways to exercise your puppy. Because their muscles and joints aren't fully developed yet, you should keep these moments short. This way, you won't put too much stress on their body. Treat these moments as training sessions. Every interaction with your dog is a moment for them to learn something. So it's up to you to keep in check what you teach them. You can, for example, start by teaching your puppy how to play a game of fetch. You can start out by a game of tug of war to let them know that it's fun to bring their toy to you. Over time, you can start by throwing further and further as your dog gets the hang of it. You can find a more in-depth guide about how to teach your dog to play fetch over here. Even a walk can be beneficial for draining your puppy's energy. A walk challenges them both mentally and physically, since they experience new things every walk. Challenge them mentally. As I just said, walks can be a nice mix to stimulate your dog both mentally and physically. They will have lots of smells to experience and they will see new things every walk. Their mind will need some time to process all these new experiences. That's also why dogs that didn't go outside a lot early on in their life tend to be tired even after very short walks. Another way to get rid of some of your puppy's energy that can be fun are mental exercises. Trick training, for example, can be very fun for both you and your dog. You can compare this to studying for an exam. Even though you're not getting a lot of physical exercise on days you're studying, you're still tired at the end of the day. The same goes for your dog. Stimulating them mentally by trick training, for example, will also be very fatiguing. You can also combine the mental and physical aspects. You can, for example, do some basic obedience training, like a sit, a down, a stay, and then reward them with some playtime, some running, tug of war. Since you know your puppy better than anyone else, you should be able to determine whether your puppy needs more exercise or is overly tired. Since not every puppy is good at deciding for themselves whether they need some sleep, this is up to you. You should provide your puppy with enough rest time in between play sessions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button if you like this video.